Well, millions of Canadians do it every day, take some sort of natural health product. In fact, close to three quarters of us take vitamins. But some fear their access to supplements and minerals could be restricted if the Harper government passes Bill C-51. As Global's Al Sweeney explains, many wonder if government regulation is really the right remedy. People who take their vitamins, minerals and health food supplements and take them seriously are now taking on the federal government, telling the government to keep its hands off their health. Hundreds rallied and marched in Toronto, in Edmonton, and Vancouver to fight federal legislation called Bill C-51 that would put new regulations on health supplements. An example of things like vitamin C, um, things like cod liver oil, uh, things that are, that are readily available in stores at the moment will become unavailable and available by prescription only. They say the government's bill is not clear, but fear that it would mean Canadians have to go to a doctor to get a prescription for vitamins and buy them at a drugstore. You know, digestive enzymes, um, sort of like parasite and yeast, like liver detox. Angela Chitali is a naturopathic doctor who probably wouldn't be able to write those prescriptions. She says the bill would restrict health supplements for a lot of people who rely on them. For preventative measures, for treatment measures, they all often fill in the gaps where, you know, a pharmaceutical may not be helping. And opponents of the legislation suspect there's another agenda going on. They say it could give drug companies control of a booming vitamin and supplement market worth around $2 billion a year. Federal Health Minister Tony Clement says his legislation is just trying to protect Canadians. He says it will weed out what he calls the bad guys in the industry and says other natural health products are going to thrive. But the people who rely on that industry say natural remedies have been working for hundreds and even thousands of years and don't need the government control. Al Sweeney, Global News, Toronto.